So what is datum again? Is a surface that fit closely to the mean sea level surface throughout the area of interest. The surface to which the ground control measurement are referred. So it's very important because it provide uh, a frame reference for measuring location. Because you want to do a beach profile, you uh, put your uh, what uh, what is uh, your device? I forgot what it's. It's called. Okay, calculate the point, but it has to be uh, calibrate back to the datum. You not minus up in order for you to get that uh, elevation though. The datum you can refer back to the local datum and you minus and what you dapat you punya beach profile though. If I may. Okay. Already uh, explained about this. Geoid, yeah, shape that we have to remove. Okay. Okay, horizontal datums are the reference value for system of location measurement, latitude, and also longitude. Horizontal data is the model used to measure position on the earth. Horizontal, yeah. Vertical adalah untuk elevation punya measurement. Elevation measurement. So traditional yeah, traditionally, ram banyak negara use establish their own regional data. Various, as I mentioned tadi, national standard, other procedure, other different time frames, different ellipsoid that fit locally very well. So result the inconsistent data. Different place, different data. Okay. And people using different device, variation in earth gravity field, Banyak, if for example, people who live in the area yang lebih sejuk, so they have different uh, magnetic field, gra gravity field, they complicate the procedure. Okay. So, lim uh, result in different results. See, Clark ellipsoid here fits this area more. And then ED50 fits this area more. Because they want to make sure it fits to their local. So they doesn't care if it's affect other area. So if you look at it, example, circa 1960, how well can we hit mix USSR with a missile from Kansas? For example, you if you're in a World War One, World War Three, uh, World War Two, you wanted to fire, you know, to to release a missile. The coordinate here is 53 degree, 52 minute, and east, 28 degree, 1942, by using the Minx full cover only. But if you use the NAD 27, you got 53 minute. Okay. Here you got second difference. So the latitude, the lari, around 5. Longitude around 15 seconds. So basically this is very small. Maybe you think it's very small, but it's around 330 meters of error. Okay. Meaning that if you plan to bomb at one place, it's end up bombing another place. So there's a, come they have to figure out one system for maps of the entire planet. It is okay. Then come out with the NEMA World's Geodetic System, 1984. Earth Center Earth Fixed Cartesian Coordinate System. The origin is fixed to plus minus 10 centimeter. Ellipsoid is placed on the top of the axis to create a geodetic foundation for the various coordinate system. Okay, that is what we are using right now. Okay. So it's used for almost all new produced GIS products, all digital. Eh? But there are still 100 local datums in use throughout the world. Okay, it will take NEMA years to update the entire existing product because a lot of people use sometimes use different. And you can transform 
and convert the coordinates over 200 local rhythms. So they can automatically will synchronize with your local near datums. Okay, where is the datum problem? Most widely used local datum ellipsoid pair. So here, the local datum used is North American datum, Clark, South American datum, International, Clark here is used here, Tokyo used its own because of why? Because it have uh, earthquake and everything. So it needs to be very precise. It have to use its own datum vessel. Okay, impact of datum mismatch. Uh, put impact there. You have your map, the data got map in your chart work. You see map dated 1989 here, you can see, and 1957 and AD 44. You see the Larry Skid. same place okay and datum shift so from wgs here cut middle ni and then by all the local datum differences and then wgs will synchronize with the datum shift ni according to your local tokyo here And uh, if we think about to Tokyo, to Joratus, 500 meters shift rate. Uh, jauh, huh? Okay. Vertical datum juga, uh, it based on sea level, tidal level. And we use it either to see the tidal level or mostly, and also the beach profile. This is what I mean by the mean sea level here, you have high tide and low tide you have mean sea level elevation so this is the vertical datum so you count from here to here this is what the height the base height some start one okay marine navigation chart use variation of low tide instead of mean sea level for referencing that why is it you can Think of it, you can have a chat with your friend maybe. Why is it like that? Because ships are very expensive. Yeah? Users like to add tides to something, meaning that they have to use the most uh, deepest depth Be uh, in order for them to make sure that the ship doesn't actually get stuck when it's low tide. Okay, now we're going to move to the map projection. Map projection is how we represent a three-dimensional from the spheroid, ellipsoid, how we're going to represent on the flat piece of paper. Okay, there's a lot of this uh, projection because some distort some aspects, some have to be scale small than the others is this a good map of the earth is the one that you've been seeing i think in most of the map they call the mercator projection and the greenland problem also known as northern hemisphere dominant projection how about this this one is a infamous Peter projection. Distant, not preserved. So you can actually see a little bit tighter here. It's not preserved. And part of shrink. The answer it depends on because a good map is one thing that being successfully used for purpose. Always a trade off in error shape, at distant local angle. You can only compromise one another. All four, itulah, ada some other shape, distance, area, direction. So, error may be significant for small study area, but they do exist. So, this one point there, compromise projection juga. What is a projection? Kita try nak jadikan dia from 3D to 2D with minimal distortion. 
and then ada tak apa we can skip it okay because it's harder to represent features on a flat computer screen from a flat from a spheroid kita nak jadikan dia flat okay so there's a lot of type of projection there's a conic cylindrical transverse mercator good for north sound and area azimuthal planar lambert azimuthal equal area good for global view so everything have its own purposes as long as it's fit what you're going to do you can use different type of projection this one that you can read by yourself uh, the equal area conformal equidistant, azimuthal or zenithal view maps critically. You see, connect projection, Albert's Lambert. It takes the conical projection of the earth and then it flatten it. Flatten it. This one is planar, start with planar, a clean, takes different area. From this area, you project the uh the earth map onto the planner last but not least the cylindrical but cylindrical is tangent or the place with least distortion a familiarly shaped continent in different map projection we can see this is a globular projection this one is stereographic projection Next one is orthographic projection. You can see it getting a bit expanding. Last one is mercator projection. This one that you use for your chart works. Okay. It keep the distance uh, for each uh, for each grid here. That is the reason why it look like this. So this is the four area that need to be considered when choosing the projection. So some projection preserve two properties. Some projection preserve none of the other, but attempt to minimize distortion in all four. So the degree and kind of distortion is different lah with the projection used, as long as it fit the purpose. Okay, so dekat sini, this is uh, one of the projection, equal area. Good for studying land area because it needs to be uh, equal for the land area but not very good for ocean studies. What do you get if you don't interrupt? Area may be equal, proper proportion. However, shapes are greatly distorted. The farthest one get from the center of the projection. You see, if you interrupt, if you don't uh, compromise one certain area, you can have distortion yang sangat teruk. So it is getting bulger here from the center of the area. Somehow you need to compromise the four points, the shape area. Okay. Ah, uh, the universal one we use a uh, transverse magnetar lah commonly used by federal government agency, USGS, also a few states. Okay, this is the one that we use, UTM, not zone numbers. Universal transverse mechanism, UTM. Uh, zone number and then we divide by the zone numbers. Central median, so this for the longitude and uh, latitude south and north okay so we can see from one projection the earth selection of a reference surface that is sphere and that ellipsoid ellipsoid the one yang uh, kita try to make it more regular lah, from irregularities scale reduction projection onto the plane different projection and then last kali the map Okay. okay, the variety almost endless. 
Kita sini, some overly militant American would show the countries on the uh, Mercator projection and the Soviet Union would look 3.5 to 4 time bigger than the US. Their purpose was to scare people into supporting greater defense spending during the Cold War. You know, make sure it's how you want to project your power. So you want to show you're bigger than someone else. Okay. If China put it bigger in their map, people will look very scared. Oh, we are very small. You know, kind of thing out from outer space, but actually it's not that big. Okay, so we actually got Mercator projection. They confirm but distort area, particularly at high latitude. High latitude is the part of distort skits, but then I make sure it's uh, equal. But Robinson ni, dia betul equal area projection, keeps area in correct proportion, but distort shape somehow at high latitude. So different um, compromise that you have to compromise one another. So if you want to know more, you can do additional reading at Earth Info and more on that terms on this three area. I will give you the slide as well so you can actually study on your own. And I guess that's the end of our lecture for today. And you guys have any question, do compile all your question and I will answer it in the uh, live uh, Q&A. Okay, thank you very much.